okay so good evening students in this uh, video we'll be focusing on certain terms in english language teaching and the first term is competency and performance uh, with whom do you associate these terms noam chomsky noam chomsky noam chomsky yeah. Okay, it is associated with Noam Chomsky, a linguist turned political critic, who actually criticizes some of the um, actions taken related to war in in the U.S. Uh, for example, the Vietnam War. All right, all these things he, he later on, after becoming a political critic, he analyzes. So competency, what is competency? What the learner knows. Okay. Okay, competency is what you know, what is stored in your brain, and performance is. What is performance? Deliver. Yeah, what you deliver through your speech and writing. Okay. And Chomsky is also associated with something else. What is that? Language acquisition device. Okay, and what is his famous work? Syntactic structures. Language acquisition device. LAD is nothing but. So what is language acquisition device? What is the definition of language acquisition device? It is innate. Each and every human being, each and every child is born with a land. See, all that you need to do is listen. All that you need to do is read automatically your brain will acquire the language and this language gets stored in your memory in the form of competency the competency is stored under the key will you learn a good year what the hell a was he got the moon on my own okay cut the moon on my own and the corner on the wool one of the other core device brain lay in built are come on on the device compare language acquisition device and it is innate இனேட்னாட்டர்மைன்ஸ் யுவர் the language acquisition device helps you to acquire the language and later on this acquired competency will become your speech and writing that is performance and ug is nothing but universal grammar okay and uh, with whom do you associate this term Stephen Krashen. Okay, it is associated with Stephen Krashen. Stephen Krashen, uh, he talks about something called as I plus one. That is this comprehensible input. Um, say, for example, you you want to develop the language skills of say twenty teachers working in a college. 
all right this is one task situation 2 is different you are supposed to increase the language proficiency of um 50 learners belonging to ba economics hailing from a rural background will you provide both these set with the same text the english teachers and the economic students will you provide them with the same text no no depending on dire comprehensible input you will give a text which is just one step ahead of their comprehension enakku enna puriyudho en level enna vo adha vida oru step ahead ah neenga kudukumbodhu that leads to language acquisition if it is below the comprehensible input if it is if it is too easy new acquisition acquisition of new lexis and new syntax will not happen and if it is too difficult the learner will get intimidated and as a result language acquisition does not happen so this is the theory of comprehensible input this could be a research topic in elt if you want to take up a phd or say um a ma project you can very well do your thesis on comprehensible input then monitor hypothesis in with whom is it associated again it is associated with crashin what does crashin say there is a, a monitor monitor means something that checks for grammatical errors and if this monitor if it works too much what will happen to your fluency on your brain la or monitor irukum and the monitor enna panudhu it checks for grammatical mistakes as and when you speak or write when this monitor works too much what will happen to your fluency will affect the fluency yeah it will bring down it will slow down your fluency right if the monitor does not work at all what will happen to your fluency fluency will be tremendous but what what will uh, get hampered grammatical mistakes will happen yeah your syntax will be horrible right so here crashin says this monitor should be optimal சிம்பிளுங்க ஒல்லியாகவும் இருக்கக்கூடாது ரொம்ப குண்டாகவும் இருக்கக்கூடாது கரெக்டான அளவில் இருந்தோம்னா நம்மளுக்கு பிரச்சனை இல்லை கம்மியாகவும் சாப்பிடக்கூடாது நிறையாவும் சாப்பிடக்கூடாது சரியா கரெக்டான அளவு இன்டேக் எடுத்தோம்னா தட்ஸ் குட் ஸோ அதுதான் என்னது ஆப்டிமல் சரி ஆப்டிமல்னா வேற ஒன்றும் இல்லை ஒட் இஸ் ஆப்டிமல் த ரைட் குவான்டிட்டி த ரைட் மெஷர்மெண்ட் ஆப்டிமல் லெவலில் மானிட்டர் ஒர்க் ஆகணும்னு சொல்கிறாரு ஸ்டீஃபன் கிராஷன் okay then critical period hypothesis again it is associated with stephen krashen and what does krashen say a child picks up or acquires a language much faster much much faster till it attains till the child attains its puberty probably around the age of 13 or 14 till the age of 13 or 14 the language acquisition of a human being uh, is very very rapid but after attaining puberty due to certain neurological changes this ability to pick up a language is far far less sir this is the critical period hypothesis 
so language acquisition before puberty is faster language acquisition after puberty is slightly slower okay what is called computer assisted language learning yes Okay, then what is small? Mobile assisted language learning. Yeah, it's mobile assisted language learning. Um, then with whom do you associate this term consciousness raising? Volume is associated with Rutherford. And what does Rutherford say? When you pinpoint the grammatical errors of the learners, their morale will be affected. That's understandable. But if you totally ignore uh, or compromise the act of uh, pinpointing errors or correcting the learner's errors, uh, that will uh, be very, very devastating when it comes to the when it comes to their uh, accuracy. Language acquisition will be good, fluency will be good, but if you don't uh, correct their errors, what will happen to their accuracy? Their accuracy will be horrendous. In such a uh, uh, scenario, to avoid such a scenario, consciousness raising is important. Here and there, then and there, it is the responsibility of the pedagogue. Who wrote this work, Second Language Pedagogy? N.S. Prabhu, it is based on his Bangalore project. Okay, so therefore, it is the responsibility of the pedagogue to uh, pinpoint or correct the learner's errors then and there, which could help them to avoid such errors again. This is called consciousness raising. And what is the difference between error and mistake? Error means spelling error. Yeah, error happens because you are unaware of the rules. But mistake happens because uh, you know the rules, but it happens because, because of the slip of the tongue, just by mistake. Uh, in a flow, you commit a mistake. In ignorance of a particular rule, you commit an error. 